welcome back to my channel. So as I mentioned in my previous video, my channel is now cruelty free. Um, I was going to combine this video and that video into one, but it just got completely long and I didn't want to cut out anything important that I was talking to you guys about. So it ended up just being a talking video. So yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be going through my entire makeup collection again. If you haven't seen my original makeup collection video, you can guys go, you guys can go check that out. Um, but it does have cruelty, uh, it has brands that are not cruelty free in it. So in today's video, I'm going to be going out and getting rid of all of those brands that are not cruelty free. So you guys will be seeing that um, and I will show you kind of like a before and an after. I'll go do like a little overview so you guys can see everything that's before. You can check out that video and then after I will show you um, everything that is left in my collection. And I do have quite a bit left. The only areas that I was really lacking was in like foundations and concealers. So if you guys have any products that are you know of any products that you absolutely love that are cool see free let me know down in the comments that'd be really helpful because I noticed I did lose a good chunk of my collection in certain areas I think I'm covered on eyeshadow but um, yeah I would love to know if you guys have any suggestions all right so now that we got the introduction out of the way let's jump on into my makeup collection and get rid of all of those brands that are not cruelty cool free all right so first we're gonna go through my vanity so I want to do the vanity area first then we'll go in here, and then we'll even go in here, because that is where all of my nail polishes are. So we're just going to dig in there as well. Um, but I want to start out with my vanity, just because that's where my makeup collection video started. So we are going to actually start from behind here. Now, as you can see, there are a bunch of body sprays and then daily brush cleanser. So, so right off the bat, we have the Sephora Daily Brush Cleanser. The Sephora Collection brand is not cruelty-free. So unfortunately, even though this is my favorite brush cleaner, I'm going to be getting rid of it. All right, so I have this empty Amazon box. So I'm just going to put all the stuff that I'm going to be giving away in here. Who knows? I may need a bigger box. Look at Michael! So handsome, huh? Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Love you. Now the next two items, which you'll see, the Candy Cane and the Vanilla Noel, those are both Bath and Body Works body sprays, and Bath and Body Works is cruelty free. So everyone, you know, just stop for a second and cheer, because I know so many people love Bath and Body Works products, so do not worry, they are cruelty free, so I get to keep those. And this bottle right here is Sonia Kashuk. Now I'm kind of questioning this because online it says Sonia Kashuk is cruelty free, but um, Google said to keep in mind that cruelty free um, truly is meant for brushes that have synthetic and vegan hair. So it is possible that um, Sonia Kashuk has um, brushes that have real animal hair, so I'm going to have to look into that and see. Um, but this should be cruelty free. So I don't know. I'm going to put this in the, the I don't know pile. So the I don't know pile is just going to be sitting right next to the box. So we'll figure this out. And the last item is this e.l.f. Deli Brush Cleanser. e.l.f. is cruelty free so I can keep this. However, I hate this so I don't even know why I'm going to bother. But I guess I'll give it another shot. All right, so here's my first set of liquid lipsticks. So a majority of these liquid lipsticks are from ColourPop. And ColourPop is cruelty free so thank God for that. Um, but we're going to flip this over because in the back there are two liquid lipsticks that are not cruelty free. Um, actually, no, there's four. Okay, so here we have BH Cosmetics. BH Cosmetics is cruelty free based off my research. Um, so we're good there. But there are two brands. So the Sephora Collection lip colors, the entire Sephora Collection, um, it's not cruelty free. So these are going to go in that box behind me. And then also the Stila Cosmetics brand, they are not cruelty free. So all four of these liquid lipsticks are going to go in the box. Alright, so we are now good with this pile. So I think this just means that I need to get more ColourPop liquid lipsticks, right? Alright, now we're going to go to this side. So lucky for me, Anastasia Beverly Hills is a cruelty-free brand. Thank God that my two favorite brands are cruelty-free. That just makes them all the more amazing. So this front row is just all Anastasia lip glosses, so we are fine with those. Um, and then we also have some liquid lipsticks from Anastasia in the back. So those are good as well. A lip gloss here from Anastasia. So here is Ofra. I need to look this one up. Alright, so lucky me, Ofra Cosmetics is cruelty free. So I get to keep Kathleen Lights' liquid lipstick. Then we have Buxom. That is cruelty free as well. 
Um, Kat Von D in the back is cruelty free. All right, so here's what I hate to say. This is Maybelline, and Maybelline is not cruelty free. Maybelline was my favorite brand of all time from the drugstore, but it is no longer because it still tests on animals. So actually, there's a lot of drugstore brands that test on animals. So we'll be getting into that more, but this one was a huge disappointment, so I'm going to be getting rid of this. All right, then there are these two LA Splash liquid lipsticks. Um, I'm having a hard time figuring out if these are cruelty free or not. I kind of read some places that some of their products are, some of them are not. Um, a lot of rumors have been going around, so I'm not sure about these, so I'm going to put these in the I don't know pile. All right, then we have this YSL lip tint. In, uh, lip tint. Uh, so YSL is not cruelty free, so that's going to go. CoverGirl, also not cruelty free. So that's going to go. And then we have a Revlon, which is not cruelty-free, so that is going to go. So we're going to take all four of these to the cruelty um, box. So there they are. All right, now we're going to take these, and we're going to put them in the I don't know section. Now we're going to come back here, and this is really sad. Okay, so first of all, the first perfume right here is from Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret is no longer cruelty free because now they sell in China, which is really annoying because it literally every pair of underwear, every bra that I own, every pair of pajamas, and a ton of body sprays are from Victoria's Secret. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a transition for me because if I throw all of my Victoria's Secret clothes out now, um, yeah, I would have nothing to wear. So, um, at least to sleep in and then I'd be like going commando, which is not good. Um, so yeah, I kind of need to work that out. Um, cause e even though I don't, I, I really, even if it's only the makeup that they are cruelty free, that they aren't cruelty free and like their clothes are cruelty free. I mean, I'm not, I'm still looking into how all of that works, but um, I really don't want to support a brand um, that is not cruelty free. So I'm going to be transitioning all of those clothes out. So as you can see, I've shown these in so many videos. I was actually going to do a collection video with all these pajamas, but no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have to buy a bunch of new clothes, which boohoo, right? Um, have, I now I have an excuse to go out and buy new clothes. So, um, we will see. There are, is gonna, there is going to be a huge transition with this, but, um, yeah. So, we have this Victoria's Secret perfume, whoops, and then this Victoria's Secret perfume. So these two are going to go into the box. No, okay, this was stupid. This was stupid. Oh my gosh. I'm like grabbing them by the top. I'm trying to carry both at the same time, and then I'm like going to break them. I'm going to need a bigger box. I'll probably have just a pile of perfumes on top of everything. Holy crap. Now look at me. Now the ones back here are both from Bath and Body Works. So those I get to keep. So yay! We're not going to get into the brushes yet. We're going to start off with this drawer. So this is my, mostly my ColourPop drawer. So don't worry guys. ColourPop is a cruelty free brand. So I get to keep this entire collection. So that is good. That would be really sad to throw out so much or give away so much. But sell so much. Um, so here I have the Glam Glow Palette Mud Set. Unfortunately, Glam Glow is not cruelty free, so those are going to go in the box. NYX is cruelty free, um, so I can keep that. Hourglass is cruelty free. Sorry for the smudges. Sorry, not sorry, whatever. <laughs> um, then we have ELF. ELF is cruelty free. NARS is cruelty free. Once again, Elf, and that is it. So the only thing out of this drawer that I have to put in the box is that. Like this is just the beginning, guys. Like once we get into my drawers with all the palettes and stuff. Ooh. All right. So now we're gonna get into the brushes, and this is where um, I have to do a little bit more research um, because, as I mentioned with the Sonia Kashuk. Some brands are cruelty free, but then their brushes aren't synthetic and vegan, or like they may have some. Um, I know for sure that Sigma, they have brushes that have 
real animal hair and then they just came out um, with more um, recently that are synthetic and vegan. So they are moving towards cruelty free. They still have um, real hair brushes for sale. I don't know if they're just going to sell what's left and then go completely cruelty free or they're going to kind of keep those around but I really hope they go completely cruelty free just because it's going to be confusing for buyers. They're going to have to really research hard every time they go on their site. It's just nice to know if the whole brand is cruelty free. Plus I really just want to support a whole cruelty free brand. I don't like this whole semi cruelty free thing. Um, so that is what's going to be difficult about this. So um, I'm pretty sure that Morphe brushes and BH Cosmetic brushes are all cruelty free just because they are listed as cruelty free brands. Um, but with all of these, I am going to double check to make sure um, that the brushes that I have or that all of their brushes are uh, cruelty free. So we have this Morphe brush. I'm just going to separate these into piles and then I'm going to come back to it later and confirm for you guys whether or not, um, at least I'm going to consider them cruelty free or not and whether or not I'm going to keep them or sell them. Um, MAC brushes, those are all going to go, which really sucks. Um, MAC brushes are, were my holy grail brushes. As you, as you will see with a lot of this collection, guys, my makeup collection, majority of my MAC stuff is actually holy grail. MAC was not my favorite brand before, but all of my holy grail products were from MAC. So it really sucks to give them away, but you know what? They kind of suck for hurting so many animals. So, um, after I've seen what have been done to animals, I just, I just cannot. I can't. Um, and then the Sephora collection brushes. All right, instead of going one by one and annoying you guys, I separated out all of my brushes. So these brushes right here are MAC, Sephora collection, and then there is one Maybelline um, brush that came with the iStudio gel liner that I'm going to be getting rid of. So we're gonna take these to the box. Well, this is gonna be fun. I probably should have done the drawers first and done the palettes, but <laughs> here we go. All right, so I know BH Cosmetics, Morphe, um, Anastasia, Beverly Hills, Elf. Um, is there any other ones back here? Or one from one random one from Philip Pelosi. Um, all of these, I don't know about this beauty blender, so look at that. All of these are cruelty free, um, so I have to make sure 100% that they're vegan because that is my goal. I want to have, I want to use vegan brushes, um, nothing with animal hair. So I'm going to look into all of that and um, then I'll let you guys know later. But I only have so much sunlight and uh, so much time to research this. Then I have all of these Sigma brushes. I have a feeling they're all going to go in the box just because, um, you know, I think all of these are have real animal hair. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about, I don't know. All right, so the Beauty Blender is 100% um, vegan, so I'm definitely going to be keeping that. Um, I'm going to look into all the Sigma ones, and then the Real Techniques one I'm also going to look into as well. Um, it seems like some brands have all vegan or they have some vegan, so I guess we'll see which ones will work out. All right, so I went to my bathroom and pulled out the rest of the brushes, so I organized some more. So these are all MAC brushes and I think some Sephora brushes, so these are all going to go in the box. Now these are all of my Sigma brushes. Honestly, I'm probably going to get rid of them all just because the whole brand isn't cruelty free. But then again, they're making the transition. Um, so I may just keep the brushes that are vegan and then only get rid of the ones that are real hair. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. So we'll see. But I'll keep you guys posted. Um, and then I'm going to look into these. I, Bare Minerals and Tarte are cruelty-free brands. I just want to make sure that the brushes are vegan too. All right, next we're going to get into this lipstick organizer. So, down here we have NARS Audacious Lipsticks. These are fine because NARS is cruelty-free. But right here we have a bunch of MAC lipsticks. So I'm going to get rid of all of those. All right, so as you can see, they are there in the box. All right, now we're going to spin this around. Um, so these are all from Buxom, and Buxom is cruelty free, but these are old, so I'm just going to throw these in the trash, so I just, it's just time, since I'm kind of decluttering everything that's cruelty, I'm also going to get rid of some stuff that's old that I just really should get, get rid of. Look at Michael, so cute, what are you doing? <gasps> Look at my baby boy, so handsome. All right, now we're going to get into the section right here. So this is a Sephora collection a lipstick, and then this is a Makeup Forever lipstick, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is from Bite Beauty, and Bite Beauty is cruelty-free, so I'm going to keep this. All right, so here are some lipsticks from the drugstore. So down here, 
We have all Milani. Milani is cruelty free, so I'm gonna keep those. Um, right here is CoverGirl. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, here and here are two Revlon lip butters. Gonna get rid of that. And then Maybelline right here. Um, and then this is Wet n Wild, so Wet n Wild I can keep. So we're gonna get rid of these five because CoverGirl, Revlon, and Maybelline are not cruelty free, so I'm gonna get rid of those. All right, so as you can see, I threw all of the drugstore lipsticks in there as well as the one from Sephora and Makeup Forever. All right, these last two lipsticks right here are from City Color Cosmetics. They are a cruelty-free brand, so I get to keep those. So as you can see, I really don't have much in here. So that is just really sad that there are that many cruelty brands. Um, but now I know of the brands that um, are cruelty-free, and I'm going to go buy some more from them. So up top here, these are the last of my MAC lipsticks. Um, these are the ones that are limited edition, but they're for MAC, so I'm going to get rid of them. All right, see, so the MAC lipsticks that were left are in the box now. Before we get into the drawers, I do have two boxes of stuff that I want to show you guys. Um, so this box is a box that I put together um, to give away to Glambot. Um, so this was before I made my decision to be cruelty free, but these were just products that I realized I wasn't using that much. That These aren't necessarily ones that I don't like, but they are just ones that I don't use that often. So first one is this Hourglass Blush Palette. Now, I don't really use this as much, but since, I, since I'm downsizing my collection, I'm keeping it. I don't know why I was going to get rid of this. This is really, like, these blushes are great. What was I thinking? So this is from MAC, so that's going to go in this box right here. So let's stick it next to each other. So that's going to go in there. All right, so these are all the products that I was going to give away for MAC. Products I didn't use that much, weren't the right color, um, or were bad quality that I, you know, I picked up to try to and reviewed for you guys and didn't like. Um, so, but they're all from MAC, so I'm definitely going to be giving these, or going to be selling these. Now, this is a cream contour palette from Cover X FX. I bought this almost a year ago, and I have yet to use it just because, and not because I think it's a bad product or anything. I haven't tried it. Um, the problem is I just don't ever have time to sit down and cream contour, but because a Cover FX is a cruelty-free brand, I'm going to keep it and try it, especially because I'm downsizing my makeup, so I'm going to try to use this and let you guys know what I think of it. Here are some NARS products. NARS is cruelty free. I like these products. They were just products I didn't use as often that I was going to give away or that I was going to sell um, because I wanted to downsize my collection a little bit. But now that I am with all the cruelty free stuff, I'm going to keep them. Here's a Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick. This one I just didn't feel like the color was good on me. But you know what? I'm going to give it another try, especially because Too Faced is cruelty free. These are two Anastasia Cream Gel Eyeliners. I really never use these, but you know what? Spring's coming around. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm downsizing my collection as it, a lot as it is, so I'm going to keep these and give them a shot in the spring and the summer and see if I end up using them more. These are Sigma eyeshadows that I was going to give away because I really ever use them. I'm not sure if these are cruelty-free. I'm not, I don't know, so I'm going to put them in the I don't know pile just because Sigma is changing to cruelty-free, but I don't know if this was before or after I bought these or whatnot, so I'm going to put them in the I don't know pile. The last item that I have is the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. Um, I just put this palette in here because I was barely ever using it, but now that I'm downsizing once again, I'm going to keep it and try to give it another shot and support a brand that is cruelty-free. So now that this box is empty, I'm going to put all of my I don't know items in here. Besides the brushes, there's a lot of brushes. All right, so here's the I don't know pile. I'm going to take out the Sonia Kashuk um, Daily Brush Cleaner just because the brand is cruelty free. I was just checking on whether or not the brushes are vegan or not, so that's fine. Now, in this Kelly and Katie box, I saved this shoe box because I keep all of my giveaway stuff that I'm saving up to give away to you guys. So you guys are going to get a sneak peek into this box. You're going to see what I got for you, what I'm no longer going to give to you, and then I'm going to be selling. So we're just going to open it up. So in here we have an Anastasia World Traveler palette. For some reason I had an extra and then I had an artist palette. Um, so I have those two there. So those are still around guys. You still have a chance of winning one of those. Um, and then we have Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palettes. Um, Urban Decay is cruelty free so we're good there. Actually I don't know why I'm taking these out because these are good so these are going to stay. Um, then we have MAC stuff here. I was actually now, if you are not cruelty free and you want to take my idea, go for it. What I was doing was collecting um, one item or two sets of one item from every MAC collection. And then I was eventually going to do a giveaway of limited edition MAC collection stuff that was no longer available. Um, but yeah, no longer doing that. So that's going to go in the giveaway or the sell pile, which luckily you see, these still have the packaging. So I'll get more money for that. See, so there's all the added MAC stuff. 
This is going to be the first box. I'm going to have to get a second box for everything that's in the drawers. These, I'm unsure of. Cind uh, Sephora came out with these. These are like Disney collection mirrors, which I absolutely love, and I love Cinderella, so I wanted to give these away to you guys. But I got to see if these were actually a Sephora collection or if they were just being sold at Sephora. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to look into this and let you guys know. So I'm going to put this in the I don't know box. All right, so here's the I don't know box now. All right, so now I got a second box that I am using. Anything little I'll throw on top of here, and then any, like, palettes I'm going to lay flat on this side. All right, let's go into the first drawer. All right, so on the right, we have all of my naked palettes. Those can stay because they're from Urban Decay, and Urban Decay is cruelty-free. Now, keep in mind, their parent company, I believe, is Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder is not cruelty-free, but just because a parent company is not cruelty-free doesn't mean that the brand... Um, that the brand isn't itself. So just keep that in mind. This is a MAC palette, so we're going to be putting that in the pile of stuff to give away. Buxom is cruelty free, so this customized palette that I created is fine. I'm gonna keep that. Too Faced is cruelty free. Once again, Urban K is cruelty free. L'Oreal is not cruelty free, so I'm going to be giving this away. All right, and then I have this Lorac palette. Lorac is cruelty free. Then BH Cosmetics is cruelty free. ELF is cruelty free. This is from 599fashion.com, so that's going to be in the I don't know pile. Too Faced is cruelty free, and then Morphe is cruelty free. All right, so we only had two palettes from that drawer that are going to be that I'm going to sell, and then we have one palette that I questioned. So here's what my drawer looks like after cleaning it out. So luckily, I got to keep a lot in this drawer. On to the second. All right, so right here is the Makeup Forever palette. Makeup Forever is not cruelty free, so I'm going to be giving this away. As you can see here, a MAC palette, going to be giving that. Whenever I say giveaway, I keep saying giveaway, but when I say giveaway, I'm going to mean sell. Wet n Wild is good, so I can keep these two Wet n Wild palettes. All right, I'm going to be selling this MAC. This is MAC. Um, Wet n Wild is good. Maybelline bad. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to give that away. I'm going to sell it. Oh, my God, I'm going to sell it. Why do I keep saying giveaway? I'm not giving this to people. I'm going to sell it. L'Oreal going to sell. Urban Decay is fine. The Rock is fine. Coastal Scents, I'm not sure. All right, and right here, it's just a pile of all of my Anastasia palettes, so those are all fine. Another Urban Decay palette, which is fine. Anastasia, which is fine. Tarte is cruelty-free, so we're good there. Look how pretty that palette is. NYX is fine. All right, so Maybelline is not cruelty-free, so I'm going to get rid of that. Stila is not cruelty free, so all the Stila stuff in here going to give get rid of. City Color Cosmetics is cruelty free, so I'm going to keep this. This is from Philippa Lucy, so this is fine. It's cruelty free. Too Faced is cruelty free. All right, these are MAC pigments and glitter, so they're obviously going to go because they are from MAC. Um, any loose pigments that I'm going to get next, I'm definitely going to be trying from Makeup Geek. If you guys know of any other good brands, let me know, um, as long as they are cruelty free, of course. Now we're going to jump in to the Z palettes, so um, I'm pretty sure the Z palettes are cruelty free, so as long as Z palettes are cruelty free, I'll keep the Z palettes. Uh, but everything in here I'm going to be getting rid of. In here, this is a complete mess, but on the left side I have all MAC eyeshadows, so all eight of those are going to go. The right side is all Makeup Geek, so those are good. In the center we have Morphe, so those are good. And then down here we have Shu Yumera. Um, that they are not cruelty free. These are this is what I got in Hong Kong. So I'm going to be getting rid of this and all of these. So this Z palette is all Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm going to keep that. And then this is a Too Faced Stardust palette. So I can keep that. So I emptied out the Mac from this palette in the Shu Yumera. So here is everything that I put in the palette. So I'm just going to stick this whole palette in here just because I have to individually wrap these to sell these. Um, but I'm probably going to keep the Z palette as long as I find out that they're, they're cruelty free, which I can't imagine how that they aren't, but whatever. All right, so I added some stuff in here, some of the MAC glitter pigments, um, the Maybelline Eye Studio gel liner in there. Then at the bottom of here, there's a bunch of these single eyeshadows and blushes from MAC and the one from Shu Yumera. And then the one Coastal Sense little palette I am unsure of, so I put that in the unsure box. And this is what my drawer looks like after I got rid of a bunch of stuff. Um, but I still have a good amount left. I have a bunch of Anastasia palettes, some Urban Decay, Too Faced, um, Z palettes. So there's some good stuff in here. And we also have some drugstore products. Now on to the third drawer. So all of my MAC paint pots are going. 
So my Holy Grail soft ochre paint pot, that is going. Um, there is this color tattoo that's from Maybelline that is going. Um, there are some products in here I have not even used yet. These are two products back here from Shiseido. They are going. The only product in this bin that is staying is this one back here. It's um, from BH Cosmetics and they're cruelty free, so that's good. All right, so I've added all of the MAC paint pots and then the Shiseido um, eyeshadows and the one color tattoo. So now that I have open space in here, I'm gonna add in those Anastasia cream colors that I was talking about before. Um, right here is this Tarte Amazonian Clay Brow um, Mousse. So to put that here just because it is cruelty free. Now going through this set is gonna be fun because there's just a bunch of tiny little things. So I'm gonna separate it out first for you guys and then go over it with you. Okay, so I'm gonna go over mascaras and liquid eyeliners. So we have a bunch that I get to keep. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, City Color Cosmetics Mascara, a bunch of Wet n Wild, Two Too Faced, and then One Bare Minerals. Um, we have Elf, Elf, and then Wet n Wild for the liquid eyeliner. So those I'm going to keep. Now right here are the ones that I'm not going to keep. So we have the CoverGirl, YSL, Benefit, Dior, and Lancome. Those are all um, brands that are not cruelty free. So I added those all to the pile. Item that I'm questioning is this NYC liquid eyeliner. There's been a lot of controversy as to whether or not they're actually cruelty free, so I'm gonna look more into that. All right, so here are the eyeliners that I'm not keeping. So I have two from MAC, Stila, L'Oreal, Mar um, Stila, Marc Jacobs, L'Oreal, Sephora Collection, MAC, and Stila. So as you can see, I threw all of the eyeliner pencils into this, and also like the eyeshadow stick from L'Oreal. The ones that I am questioning are in here. Um, this is an NYC. Um, and then three of these are all from like Birch Boxes, I think. Um, so I have to check on those brands just because I'm not familiar with those brands. So I'm gonna look into those. All right, so here is the I don't know pile. All right, so here are the eyeliners that I'm gonna keep. Up top here we have Wet n Wild, which is good. We have all these Urban Decay eyeliners in this Urban Decay glitter. We have this eyeliner from Tarte, Anastasia Beverly Hills, two from NARS, a NYX um, Jubble Eye Pencil, and then this NYX eyeliner. So those can all stay. Okay, now we're gonna get into the brow products. So the ones that I can keep is this Milani um, little brow stick, and then this NYX Control Freak Clear Brow Gel, and then the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. As far as brow pencils go, I'm keeping my Anastasia ones, NYX ones, and then I have one from BH Cosmetics in here. The ones that I'm getting rid of are the Maybelline, this one from Maybelline, and then two from Alme. So now those brow pencils are in this box. So here is what this drawer looks like after cleaning it out. All right, now we're gonna go into the fourth drawer, which is a little tight. Okay, so let's look in here. All right, so I can keep the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I can keep this Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Another Primer Potion, Rocks Fine. Um, Shu Yumera is not, I have to get rid of this. And then this one is from L'Oreal, so I'm gonna get rid of this. All right, so from this side, we're gonna get rid of Sephora, MAC. These two NARS things I can keep because NARS is cruelty free. Um, this is from MAC, getting rid of that. Wet n Wild is good, Stila bad. Smashbox is good. By Terry, I have to look into. Steal a bad. Act bad. This is from Wet n Wild, so this is good. Milani is good. Makeup Forever is bad. These, I don't even know what these are from. These I'm gonna have to look into. These are from Stunners, it says. I have no idea what these are. <laughs> okay, so here I Becca highlighters. They are cruelty free. Awesome. Anastasia, cruelty free. Maybelline, gotta get rid of that. L'Oreal, gotta get rid of that. Guerlain, gotta get rid of that. The Guerlain is also not cruelty free. Max, not cruelty free. Too Faced is good, so we're gonna keep that. Now, a majority of the ones on the right side are fine because we have City Color Cosmetics, we have Milani Cosmetics, those are good. Um, we have Bare Minerals, which is good. Tarte, which is good. So the only thing in here is the MAC one that I gotta get rid of. All right, here's the box I have to look more into. I added a bunch of stuff um, to this box from that drawer. Because I had more space in here, I added those NARS palettes that I had before just to stick in here. I think these are eyeshadow palettes, but they at least fit in here, so I'm just gonna throw them in there. All right, now onto the fifth drawer, which is really hard to pull out, so this is fun. I'm just gonna try real hard here. Um, Too Faced is fine, so I'm gonna keep that. City Color Cosmetics is fine, I'm gonna keep that. NARS is fine, however, I'm gonna get rid of this. This is old, this is gross. This is from Benefit, they are not cruelty free, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Milani is cruelty-free, Phil Pelusi is cruelty-free, Bobbi Brown is not cruelty-free, so I'm gonna get rid of this. 
As for the lashes, I don't know if Forever 21 the lashes are cruelty free or not, so I'm gonna have to check on that. Elf is fine, Elf is fine. These are from LA Splash, so I don't know that I'm gonna check on that. Tarte is cruelty free, we're good there. Kat Von D is cruelty free, so the Shade and Light palette is fine. Which Cosmetics is cruelty free, so those are fine. Ardell is cruelty free, so I can keep that. Um, I'm not sure about Kiss, I'm gonna have to look into that. Okay, and then here on the bottom, I just have the two Anastasia Glow Kits. The Anastasia Contour Kit and the NARS Stephen Klein palette. So those are all fine. I'm also going to put this NARS palette back in here since I'm going to keep it. I'm going to put it with the other NARS one, but this one's longer, so it's going to bother me. So I'm going to put it there. And then I'm going to put the Cover FX one over here. So I'm keeping that now. And then the Too Faced one, I'm going to put back. So this is my drawer, even though it's a little messed up. Um, whenever it's full, so I still have a good amount of stuff. Okay, so this is currently what the um, boxes look like. So these two are the ones that I'm getting rid of, and then these, this one is the one I'm unsure of. Now on to the second to last drawer. There's going to be a lot to clean out of here, and it's going to be really sad. So this drawer has my foundation setting sprays, concealers. Um, so there's going to be a bunch that I have to get rid of out of here. I'm really not going to have that much left, um, which is fine, though. So YSL I have to get rid of, Almay I have to get rid of, L'Oreal I have to get rid of, Revlon I have to get rid of, L'Oreal I have to get rid of, Almay. So this entire section, getting rid of it. Alright, now this section right here, majority of this is going to go. Estee Lauder is not cruelty free. Too Faced is, so I'm going to keep this. Makeup Forever is not cruelty free. NARS is cruelty free. Sephora is not. So I'm getting rid of Estee Lauder, Makeup Forever, and Sephora. Okay, so onto the setting spray. So obviously this MAC um, Fix Plus is going to go. Um, but I do get to keep the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So that is good. I have one really refreshing setting spray and one um, setting spray that's going to help my makeup last all night. Now this one I'm not bummed out because I really didn't even like it. But it's from L'Oreal, so I'm going to get rid of it because they are not cruelty free. Then in the back I have these concealers. So actually, like, pretty much all of these are going to go. So NARS I can keep. Max gotta go. Both of these Maybelline concealers gotta go. Almay concealer has to go. Now this is a make face gloss. I'm gonna have to look into this company. It's one of from a, like a birch box or something, so it's something I'm gonna have to look into. Alright, so I added the concealers in here, and then I added the um, foundations and the setting sprays and primers in here. Then I also have the Make Gloss I threw in here, but you probably can't tell much of a difference in this box because that primer was super, super tiny. So this drawer is super sad and bare. Luckily, I have two foundations and one concealer, and I don't have any face primers, but I do have at least this Smashbox setting spray to help a little bit in Urban Decay on Lighter setting spray. So I literally don't have any uh, face primers, so I really have to go shopping now. But I do have a NYX um, face primer on the way, so that's good. All right, so here is a drawer. I have samples here, lip stuff here, backups here, um, and some other stuff. So pretty much in the sample drawer, if there's anything um, that is not cruelty-free, um, I'm just going to get, like anything that's not cruelty-free, I'm just going to get rid of just because it's a sample size. I don't think I can really sell that. Um, or I think I might put, you know what, no, I don't want to try to, I want to, I don't know if I necessarily want to get rid of it. What I'll do is I'll put it in a bag and see if I have any friends that will use it if they um, aren't pro cruelty free. Just because, you know, it sucks that the animals went through that and for it to just be thrown in the trash. I don't know. So, but I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to put those in a separate bag. Um, so there's that. Now, the Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm, I am not sure um, if they are a cruelty free brand. So I'm going to have to look into that. Jouer, there was controversy as to whether or not they are cruelty free or not, so I'm going to have to look into that. I'm actually going to separate the rest of this out just because it's going to take forever, so I'll get into that, back into that in a second. Maybelline, luckily I have this in the package. I didn't open it, so I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell this Star Wars um, CoverGirl mascara because they are not cruelty free. Um, the Beauty Blender is cruelty free, um, so I will keep that. EOS Lip Balms are not cruelty free, so I'm getting rid of that. Um, this is a Sephora Collection Eyelash Curler. I'm just not going to own anything from Sephora Collection, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Here's this Maybelline Foundation. This is the Fit Me Foundation, getting rid of that. Um, I have the, a Backup MAC Concealer, getting rid of that. Um, I have a Backup Estee Lauder Foundation, so I'm going to be getting rid of that. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be getting rid of. So this is from Stila Lancome. 
Sephora, Givenchy, Marc Jacobs, two things from Maybelline, MAC lip pencils and lip glasses, this L'Oreal lipstick, and then the Shiseido lip gloss. These two I'm sure of. This is from Sigma, and then this one is from Lipstick Queen. The feeling Lipstick Queen isn't cruelty free just because they got in Hong Kong, but I'm not sure, so I'm going to check into that. Okay, so here are the first two boxes that are filled with stuff that I'm getting rid of. And then here's the stuff that I'm questioning. All right, so here are the lip products that I'm going to keep. I have this NYX lip liner, this Essence lip liner, City Color Cosmetics lip liner, two NARS lipstick crowns, this Bare Minerals lip gloss, I believe, two face melted liquid or melted liquid lipstick, Tarte lipstick, two BH Cosmetics lipsticks, two uh, Buxom lipstick products or lip products, and then this one from By Beauty. So this little box is full of samples that I am unsure of. So I'm going to be looking more into those later, but I don't have time to look at every single little one. So if they are cruelty free, I'm going to put them. In, I'm going to keep them and try them out. If they're not, I'm going to put them in a bag and maybe give them to friends or just get rid of them. I'm not sure. So this pile is um, a set of samples that I know are definitely not cruelty free. So there's some Estee Lauder, Clinique, Caudalie, Benefit, um, Bobbi Brown, YSL. Um, so those I'm just going to be um, putting in a separate bag, maybe giving them to friends if they want them or getting rid of them. All right, so when I went through my samples, these were the only samples in this box that I could find that I knew were cruelty-free. So we have some Murad, Becca, Cap on D, NARS, um, but it's very little compared to what I have before, which is overflowing. And this is what my entire drawer looks like after cleaning it out. I cleaned out quite a bit. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to be organizing my drawers, and maybe I can make some space for hair products now just because I've cleaned out a good bit of stuff. All right, so now we're going to go in here because this is where I keep my nail polishes. Keep in mind that this has not been organized, but this will help me or organize everything. So I can go, I can do like a little video on all of my jewelry and whatnot later and my nail polishes that I do keep. Um, but for now, I just kind of want to go through here and get rid of the nail polishes that I don't want anymore because they are not cruelty free. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate everything out and then I will come back and let you know in, um, in a couple seconds which, which one ones I'm keeping and which ones I'm getting rid of because they're not cruelty free. All right, so first we're going to go over the ones that I'm unsure of that I want to keep and just see if they are um, cruelty free or not. I'm having a hard time figuring it out. So Essie, I really like Essie. I'm hoping they're cruelty free, but I'm having a hard time figuring out if they are or not. There's a lot of controversy. Sally Henson, I'm not sure if they are cruelty free. NYC and Pure Ice, I'm also looking into. So these are nail polishes that I just wanted to keep and not get rid of and see if I can figure out if they are cruelty free or not. If they are cruelty free, I'll keep them. If not, I will give them away or throw them out. So here are some nail polishes that are just old that I'm just going to get rid of. Um, there's some from Icing, Sally Henson, some random brands, some from, I have no idea where they are from. Um, but they're old, so I'm just going to get rid of them and not even worry about it. All right, so here are ones I'm definitely getting rid of. I have one from L'Oreal, three from Revlon, and two from Maybelline. So those got to go. Here is another one that I'm questioning. It says Sephora by OPI. So I don't know if this is necessarily a Sephora collection product that they collaborated with OPI or if it's an OPI product. But either way, I don't even know if OPI is cruelty free. So I'm going to look into that and see. But I'm probably going to give it away just in case. But I just want to let you guys know that. So down here we have the Formula X nail polishes, which are approved by PETA. Um, so I got a bunch here. There are 24, I believe, that came in a set. Um, so I tried those out, and then I got a couple freebies, and then that one extra one that I must have got as a freebie as well with some sort of Sephora gift. So, um, yeah. So besides the Formula X nail polishes, I have three on the left from Milani, and then two on the right from Wet n Wild. The one furthest to the left is what I'm wearing right now in this video. All right, guys, so now I'm just going to do a little bit of an overview for you guys. So you can kind of see what my makeup collection looks like now that I've gotten rid of some stuff, um, stuff that I'm questioning. As you will see as I get to the top here, there's like nothing in that lipstick organizer at all. Um, a lot of these brushes right here I am looking into, so I might not necessarily keep all of those, especially the Sigma brushes. I'm sure majority of those have got to go. Um, so I'm still trying to decide on if I'm going to keep them or not. Um, so I'm working on that. Um, so I'm going to go through the drawers and stuff really quickly just so you guys can see what is in my collection now. As for my nail polish collection, I got all of the Formula X nail polishes as well as the three Milani nail polishes and then the two Wet n Wild nail polishes. 
Still got some body sprays, one daily brush, or two daily brush cleansers. Got a, plenty of liquid lipsticks, like plenty of lip glosses here. I'm going through all of these brushes to see if they are good or not, but I'm pretty sure the Morphe ones and the BH Cosmetics ones are good. Then we're going to go in here to the ColourPop drawer. All, pretty, all of this is ColourPop, so we're good. We have a ton in here. We have Hourglass NYX um, and Elf in there. So that drawer is pretty full. This guy is empty. Oh my god. There's nothing in here. So if you guys have any suggestions on cruelty-free lipsticks that you guys really like, whether they're from the drugstore, from affordable brand, or a high-end brand, let me know what I should get and add to my collection that you love. Now we're just going to go quickly through the drawers. So still got a good chunk in here. Um, good amount in here. Um, this one's kind of bare now. Still a decent amount in here, but kind of bare again. Um, this one's hard to get open, but there's still a good amount of stuff in here. So I got like some Anastasia palettes, Too Faced, NARS. Um, this one's the sad one. I need some concealers, guys. Help me get some concealers and primers that I can wear. Um, and that's cruelty free. Um, and then there's some little tiny lipsticks and stuff in here. So not much in here, not many samples. So got rid of lot. I got rid of a lot. Also, here is a picture of everything that I'm going to be selling. This picture is the box that I am questioning. All right, so that is what my makeup collection looks like now. I have two big boxes that I showed you guys in the video of stuff that I'm going to be giving away for that I'm going to be get, getting rid of. Um, so I'm going to try to sell everything I mentioned in my previous video. All of the stuff that I sell, the money that I make off of it, all of it will be going to the Animal Rescue League, and I will be doing an update video for you guys. Sorry, my camera's moving because my cat's climbing all around the... Camera stand? Is that what it is? Yeah, whatever, the stand. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I'll be doing an update video letting you guys know how much I make um, and, you know, what I will be sending to Animal Rescue League, so stay tuned for that. I will be updating you on whether, which brushes are vegan that I own and the brushes that I'm going to be giving away because they have animal hair in them. I'm also going to be going over the box that I went through that I was unsure of. So any uh, brands, I will let you, give you guys an updated video on whether or not they are cruelty free or not. If you guys happen to know what those brands are that I mentioned, if you if they are cruelty free or not, let me know down in the comments. Um, yeah, and I will keep doing some more videos on cruelty free stuff, um, maybe an education video, um, and then going through all my skincare, hair, and fashion, so stay tuned for that. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not subscribed to my channel already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button below. I would love it if you guys joined my Beauty Attic Next Door family. And then if you like this video, you found it helpful, please make sure to give it a like. It really helps support my channel and lets me know what you guys are into. Um, but yeah, this is it. I just want to thank you guys again for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!